And that's why when Manishka said to me that we want to do an ICAP, but we will need to have at least 1.5 million to cater for such an incidental cost, because everything else will be catered for, all right? I said, I'm going to be there to fundraise, and I'm going to chip in, and I've started, I actually said to Malaysia, my first 100,000 is coming, I need to raise 1.4 million. <laughs> what I'm saying is that if we give up something, ladies, and you have friends, you know, Jesus had only 12 of us, uh, uh, apostles, and Christianity spread across the whole world. We're more than 12 here. If each of you take up the challenge, to tell your girlfriend, let's keep a meal, let's keep a hairdo, let's keep a manicure, a pedicure. You can send 2,000 shillings to ensure that this initiative, to ensure that every Kenyan that is visually impaired gets a care. We can do this, you know, we can do it. We can forfeit something. We can sell the things that clutter our homes and actually be able to do something good. So I am being challenged, you know, I say that as a woman rep, um, I mean, when I came into politics, I was Mama Ta, I was known for lighting. But as I got into politics, I felt that I was like this octopus that is completely stretched because there's so many causes, so many needs, and the pandemic has eroded all the gains towards the SDGs. Our government struggles with corruption, our government struggles with debt, I know it's aggressive in terms of taxes, but I'll tell you, whatever you give out comes back tenfold. Try it. I'm a living example. I've seen it. It works. You have nothing in your wallet, and you meet someone that needs it more than you, and you give it out, it will come back. So we have to spread the message that the 44th tribe, who has such a small population, cannot do more than all the other 43 tribes. So please, let's spread that word. And I'm so proud of everyone. You know, occasionally people tell me, oh, are you Ethiopian or are you Indian? I love it when I'm asked to come Indian because they're an example that needs to be emulated. They do so much. And they challenge me every single day. Through COVID, I want to say thank you to the entire community for what you did for Kenyans and for being the Kenyans that we should emulate. So let's do this, Kenyans. There are many Kenyans out there that need us. Let's be available. And thank you to the First Ladies. And thank you. I, I don't know if Piers Maro is here. I didn't see. Oh, there you are. You know, I, where were you? You know, I need to get to this guy. You know, when we try to change the. We need to put our hands together and support alleviation of blindness to the many Kenyans that can be supported up front. And in that, we, as a youth Kenya embracing the world, with Nairobi County and the support of Esther Pasaris, the women rep, we are going to undertake in October, a cataract eye camp, which is going to be free of charge to not only the Wanainchi in the county of Nairobi, but anybody else who would need that support. We are going to circulate all the information through the Kenya Society of the Blind, who are the most able partners that we have seen and have supported us in our vision to support in the alleviation of blindness. In this regard, I personally congratulate the team at Kenya Society of the Blind First. They are committed supporting the cause. When we mentioned this to the Nairobi County rep, 
and our good friend Esther Pasaris, she came out with both her hands and said, we will ensure this is a success. Do not worry about the COVID times. We will ensure as the county to put in all the protocols and support the cataract eye care. We will, we already over the last 14 years have done 3,000 cataract operations. As a And these are supported by various donors. Some of them who are present here today, and I'd really like to mention uh, Countings, Doshi Group of Companies, and Doshi, uh, Bharat Doshi, who is present here today as coordinators and supporters of this ICANN. Thank you very much for supporting IU at all times over the last 14 years to make this into a possibility. And we have done this in many counties uh, all over Kenya. We have actually gone into 13 different counties apart from Nairobi. Thank you very much, Jim, uh, for the wonderful invitation. And making sure that we are here, we are actually part by the experience could hear people laughing, that was probably our table, um, because of you know the various experiences that we've had tonight, and uh, wondering whether we would call James and find out what was really going on, uh, and whether or not this dinner was going to happen. Uh, the band, you guys are amazing, we were sitting along, and we really, really appreciate your good talent, and we welcome you to our various counties when you're able to visit. We will be able to post. I don't want to stand between you and your dinner just to say that as the county first ladies, we have um, those who you see here and others who are not with us tonight quite involved with activities to do with people living with disabilities, very disabilities and blindness being one of them. And we have very active first ladies uh, with programs on the ground, so we are really, really excited to be part of the Kenya Society for the Blind uh, strategy to ensure that screening is carried out in the counties and we look forward to entering into a MOU with the Kenya Society for the Blind to ensure that we reach our people. It's interesting to understand how blindness works because we take it for granted in very, very important ways. And it's very interesting to hear that there are certain things that we can do to ensure that uh, the situation does not become as dire as it is and as it was explained by the channel. So thank you very much for hosting us, Lance, um, other partners, and we look forward to this great partnership. We welcome you to the counties. I'm happy to hear you talking about going to the counties immediately, and we will be there to support you. Santeni Sana, you are. Excellency, first ladies of Virus County Government at present, Chairman of KSB, our good friend Oweru, friends, sponsors, supporters of KSB, and colleagues of the disability movement. Good evening. I think I have to really thank KSB to come for coming up with such a wonderful initiative. Experiencing being blind for just a few minutes it wasn't really an easy task. We really struggled to get in and that was a wonderful initiative. I think many Kenyans might not know the history of disability movement in this country it was started by blind community. A gentleman who fell in love with a white lady before Kenya's independence when the stigma, labeling, and challenges were right. And that really made later on decades of, you know, movement of disability, disabled persons and their organization coming up. And we all remember how blind people might go happy house. And that has led to the birth of 
create opportunities for personal disabilities in this country. You can only experience, once you experience challenges like, that's when you will appreciate what others go through every day in life. Firstly, I was not born someone with disability. When I was in university, I remember, I had two neighbors. I didn't know that God was preparing me to be someone with disability in future. I was a fourth year, and there's this gentleman who is a first year, the Senator Mawa, on my right. And then on my left, there was a gentleman called Wakome who was blind. I used to do for him some reading. And sometimes he's a very funny guy. He used to tell me, come and pick for him a shot from a drawer. I love when he comes to a he asks him. He tells me, to buy a new shot, a green. I love when I pick for him a different one. And then he feels a bunch of questions there, but I told you to pick the green. You know, so I didn't knew that one day, one time, I would end up, you know, being someone with disability to share this story. And years, years later, I was involved in a terrible road accident, and I found myself on a wheelchair. And I would meet more of them, and then he would ask me, what happened to you? Then I told him sympathetically, I'm looking for someone to sympathize with me. That uh, Nilipata Ajani, he, he, he. Then he tells me, welcome to the club. It has its ups and downs, it is exciting. And indeed, I find it quite very exciting, including even the darkness that we have enjoyed in this dinner. So it's such kind of initiative to make the communities to... It's a wonderful initiative. I'm really so inspired that we have a lot of first ladies with us. You know, ladies, if they say they will do something with you, they will do it out of their heart. Including, including if they say they love you, they do it out of their heart. That's why a blind man fell in love with a white woman and the movement of disability in this country started. That's a history we need to celebrate. And uh, as a council, we have worked a number of you. I'm glad to have seen Her Excellency Kimemia here. A month ago, we are in her county. We have signed an MOU with them. She brought her to there with her. And that was really a wonderful initiative. And we were going to work with many, many, you know, first ladies. You know, because like mothers, actually, if they have a child with disability, the love they give to that child is much more than the love they give to the other child. Because of the special need of that child. So if you have first ladies and wonderful women in this house to accept to walk the journey with us as disabled people, that's amazing. Let's give them a very good applause. And finally, National Council for Persons with Disabilities State Agency mandated to push and to promote the genders of disability in this country. And as a country, we're being extremely very well, let me say. Let me use the word extremely. You can only know your country is doing some great work if you just visit neighboring countries and the challenges disabled people go through. This country has a disability law. Persons with Disabilities Act, 2003. And why it was 2003, if I will give you a little bit of history, our former president, whom as disabled people were describing as Lincoln of our generation, was Mr. Kibaki. He literally signed that act when he was on a wheelchair. That led to the birth of National Council, where some of us are standing today. And we have a progressive constitution, which put human rights issues of persons with disability right at the center. We have also signed ratified and domesticated convention on the right of persons with disability. So as a country, we are doing amazing work in terms of disability, but we are not yet still there. We have a long way to go, especially in implementing, in implementing this program. So I want to assure Kenya Society for the Blind, Chair Mr. Waweru, as we always work together, we continue to work together and to improve the life and the living standard of persons with disability and those who are blind. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, let me say, uh, I was just seated here and listening to our women, Pastoris, and she said a very fundamental thing that if each and every one of us can try and change a life in this country, I think the whole world would be better. That is a very important thing because as a people, we are looking at the smallest, smallest community 
in our society that is trying to do much in the Indian community. And I remember two months ago, I was invited by Hindu Council here in Badlands. And this group of people are doing a marvelous job. In fact, during this COVID period, they have a program whereby they are supporting those less fortunate in our society. And let me say this, as a council we are committed that each and every one of us, and we shall be coming to you, guys, that we want we work with you together. Because we are looking at the council, and the council each and every year, we get a request of about 10,000 mobility devices. And what the government can provide is only 4,000. What are we saying here? The KSB is working closely with the council because even kings are assistive devices. And we want each and every person in this country to work with us so that at least we can provide these assistive devices to our people. Let me say that disability is a club. And my good CEO has said that anyone can join at any given time. So you don't put an application so that you can become a disabled, a disabled person. But this is a club that we can join at any given time. So I would like to appreciate KSB and all partners and all those people who sacrifice themselves today evening to be with us. Confidently assuring you that you will be most happy with your work in eye health. Now, today, I'm a messenger of the Principal Secretary Ministry of Health. And uh, between yesterday and today, we have had a lot of discussions because uh, she was very, very, very interested in being part of this dinner in the dark. Just to get an experience of how life is. Uh, so, uh, she would have uh, wished to experience this, this uh, experience of um, living in darkness and she would have wished to be here and she sent me with this message. P.S. Marwa, P.S. State Department of Social Protection, Honorable Esther Pasaris, Her Excellency, uh, First Lady is present, CEO of County First Ladies Association, Government Officials Present, Chairman, National Council of Persons with Disability, Director of the National Council of Persons with Disability, Council Members of Kenya Society for the Blind, Friends from Private Sector, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am honored to have received the invitation from the Kenya Society for the Blind and getting a first-hand but brief experience of life without the gate of sight. The Ministry of Health acknowledges the effort partners like Kenya Society for the Blind continue to put towards the development and delivery of sustainable eye health. It is commendable that the society had, who was founded in 1956 proceeded to the formation of uh, facilitating the formation of Ophthalmic Services Unit at the Ministry of Health which points to the dedication towards the promotion of the welfare, education, and the rehabilitation of the visually impaired Kenyans. I wish to note that today's experience is, the, is, in the first, in the, is the first in the series of several events, together with our partners culminating in marking the World Side Day and World Wide Day to be marked on 13th and 14th October 2021. These are days of reflection and advocacy for eye health with the aim of making the highest attainable standards of health accessible to persons with visual impairment. I particularly appreciate this year as well as the theme of Love Your Eyes. That is a clarion call to each one of us to focus on their eye health. As a country, there are about 7.5 million Kenyans 
uh, who are in need of eye health services, with over 65 percent of them being in the age group over 50 years. So, she's here, right? I think, you guys, we need to be very flexible, particularly since to now digital materials. If you would, honorable percent, we become too big to the extent that we use a lot of resources here to get cascade down to save our Kenya. When the president gives us these positions, to Nakua so big for Kenyans. That for an ordinary Kenyan from Nyandaro to Pipiri, from Lam, eh, from Mandera to come and see our peers, it's a headache. Or an appointment. Sasa mama kutoka machinani and a new appointment in Antiquai. You know? So let's be easy so that we can be part of the transformation of this country. You know? I'm so grateful to our chief. Yeah, you, you are now a role model. We thank Waziri Matiani. Thank Waziri Kagwe. We must all go out this country and touch Kenyans. If me can touch a few, where we, eh? you know, we have enough resources in this country. Enough, but eh? enough resources, skills, resources here. Yeah, yeah. I need to know our binafsi, Nataka to Tajirike too. You, you have your neighbor. You eat 10 meals a day, your neighbor goes hungry. You are immediate neighbor, Kuleji Bani. So, Baka Tuanze, Tuanze na charity begins at home. I really want to thank the Doshi group because this is, these are people I've known for a while. Right, in Ikiwa Mombasa, the activities they are doing in the entire country. And let's join them. Now, your higher activity they want to do clinics um, can confirm that we are going to support you. I'm happy the first ladies are here. Let's run with that activity in the counties. Let's score a poll. Yeah. I think we can coordinate it so well through you, the chair lady and the first ladies. I happen to know all of you. Our okay. governors in Rafikizangu, Mama Ann, Wamboi, and Amendilea. Now I'm with mommy, mom. Yeah, who you, mom? I call her my, eh? Kimeme is my elder brother. Who you, dear, many layer, you know? I couldn't keep to agree about me. You see, as an answer. It's nice to see you guys. So, folks, so when I go to the invite, because in the summer, he in me, the car, Jenny, I have to go by the when I, go, when I go to the invite, I, I had a problem understanding what it is. So the Kaudiza, my PA, now he, 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 my PA is Joyce, Joyce is mama. I asked her, that now he, Joyce, he, 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 Joyce Mugure, what is this dinner in the dark? <laughs> no, you know, I have seen the speaker speak here, but you have not really got any day. You have not got any day that you need. I am so disturbed up to now. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Kaulis of Joyce, he didn't in the dark. He didn't Because I really wanted to understand before coming here. Now it akwa to me what to anakula kwa giza ama itakuwa ni nini sasa tutakuwa tunakulaja kwa giza. So finally when I came here, we kaona kina the chair ki asha watu ndani. First we ka his state, because mama can't. No, I am a security officer. I have to scan the environment. <laughs> because I'm a candle as a security officer. Because I'm a candle. 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 Because I'm a cand
because I want to because the Tawizo PS will go uko na kwa nini ukusema mapema usebu alikuwa president akaniuliza nika scan sasa nika confirm everything is okay ndio nikaingia now the experience here really is transformation ile experience ndani ya giza and if you utatoka hapa bila hiyo experience you go tell to the mountains just go tell that experience to the mountains tafadhali tafadhali stay in darkness for close to one hour and i was able to experience what my brothers and sisters are experiencing to sit and ganyan that is it that, you know i sat and i uh, was just thinking through apart from this the sense of smell the sense of vision the sense of taste the sense of touch and so if one doesn't have one of these senses comes a big challenge that it requires the hand of a neighbor to enable this person manage and I, i think this country has this kind of capacity we stand up for our neighbors hold hands for those who cannot stand up so that we all work together in the clarion call of his excellency the president of leaving no one behind. I think that is the message we should go up. And we also tend to forget scientists, particularly Mutaria Rais Kwamba. The sixth there is what we call the sixth sense. There is the environment, there is time. That all these smell, taste are governed around time. that time has become a sixth sense also because look at how it governs you how you wake up how you sleep how you do things without knowing eh? so environment and time so for the band i was writing down everything for the band my team is here we want to assure you nitaongea na wanjoi yura napanga program za president hata jana alikuwa kwa usiesi wewe the president would like love to see you play for Kenya not you know you are not playing for the president play for the Kenyans in his presence that is the language and i can assure you muda perform here ya uh, october we it may be late but in december i can assure you mutakuwa hapo na tuulize pia fast ladies because you are here zile function ziko huko pia kule kwa county muna walika tu anakuja mimi minister of labor sisi tutakuwa tuna facilitate waona basi yetu we have a we have we have several buses there sisi tutaweka mafuta tunawapa kadi ya mafuta tunalipa driver mnajienjoy hata pwani mnajenga so i i think uh, I, i want to speak to everybody you know when you are We are good speaker you must speak to everybody you don't speak to a clean of the population i take cognizance of our women rep she is also very keen uh, mr shah sansa for accepting that we come here uh, we know you are good heart to kianza clinic madam mushima pasaris let's involve them sindio kwanza tuanze na 
our first ladies kwa county zao twende huko to, to mount clinics and kwa zile twende kwa zile county zingine allow me to restrict myself it is it gives me great pressure ladies and gentlemen to join you all and the Kenya society for the blind as we experience the work of, of persons with vision impairment in the inner, in the dark. Let me applaud the Kenya Society for the Blind for their efforts in promoting the welfare, education, training, and employment of persons with vision impairment and creating awareness for the prevention and alleviation of blindness in the country. According to the 2019 census, and out of 918, 207 people, and 70 people aged five years and above, who are reported to have had disability, 333, 520 had visual impairment. This means that slightly above a third of persons living with disability in the country are of those with visual impairment. The Kenya Society for the Blind has been implementing projects and programs that cater for the needs of persons living with visual impairment, such as eye care programs, the education programs and the education programs, among others. We appreciate you for the good work that you are undertaking in the country. Regardless of the programs and projects undertaken by the various organizations, persons with disabilities still encounter various barriers such as lack of accessibility, physical and virtual environments, institutional and altitudinal barriers, exclusion and unequal opportunities. Some even experience gender-based discrimination and violence in all spheres of life in our society. Addressing these challenges therefore requires a multi-sectoral approach to safeguard the rights and the needs of persons with disabilities in the country. The government of Kenya is therefore committed in ensuring equal inclusion of all Kenyans as we as a prerequisite to the achievement of sustainable development goals and its crayon call of His Excellency the President of leaving no one behind. The Constitution of Kenya 2010, Article 54, and entitles persons with disabilities to be treated with dignity and respect, to assess educational institutions and facilities, to reasonably assess all places of public transport and information, to assess materials and devices which enables them to overcome constants arising from their forms of disabilities. In addition, Article 7 on national, official, and other languages directs that the state shall promote and develop and use the indigenous languages, the Kenyan sign languages, braille, and other communication formats and technologies accessible to persons with disabilities. The Minister of Labor and Social Protection continues to ensure that persons with disability are accounted for and participate equally in every aspect of life. This is demonstrated by the lead role of the Ministry through the State Department for Social Protection in the implementation of a number of policy and legal frameworks for the improvement and inclusion of persons with disability 
in the development agenda. No programs. We have to screen, we have to refer, we have to take those 52 and see how they'll be rehabilitated in braille literacy, computer, and many other things that will empower them economically. Thank you. May this be a first step for all of us, all the counties here, to empower those with serving visually their people. Thank you, PS, for honoring this invitation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Manish. On behalf of the County First Ladies Association, on behalf of the First Lady of Taita Taveta County, we want to say thank you for the amazing work that you're doing with the community. We are proud of our sister from Taita Taveta. She's done an amazing job. She had a very wonderful clinic and we are following her footsteps. The next screening will be my county, in Lake Ipia County, and I welcome the Kenya Society for the Blind to partner with us in any way that they can next week. We look forward to going to all the counties uh, that are represented here, and also those that, that are not here, because we want to ensure that all Kenyans get to experience this wonderful, wonderful service. Thank you very much. Thank you.